There are many grievances that we as an Animal Crossing community can mutually agree on that just to ruin this game. Such as golden tools breaking, not being able to buy and craft items in bulk, the fact that some items refuse to be placed in the center of a space, but there are a few that I think about occasionally when I'm playing New Horizons that I haven't ever heard anybody else talk about. Number one, why can't blathers buy our fossils? Towards the start of playing this game, I would be running around doing my daily errands with the very limited pocket space we get given and you have to stop what you're doing and get your fossils appraised so you can donate them and get them out of your pockets but then when you start to fill up the collection more and more and blathers starts giving the fossils back to you you can sell them at nooks for top dollar however if your nooks isn't close to the museum even if your nooks is close to museum honestly i just find it so annoying that we have to go to blathers and then go to nooks just to get rid of fossils now i could just hide a few Few fossils around my island to stop them from spawning every day but I love a few extra bells in my pocket so that's why it would just be easier if Blathers could just buy the fossils for his personal collection look at him he wants them he knows he wants them number two why can't Brewster buy our gyroids this is the same as the Blathers and fossils dilemma except this one isn't as annoying since gyroids don't spawn on the island as often as fossils. However, since gyroids are low-key kind of annoying and taking up space in my storage because I'm a hoarder, if we could take our gyroids to Brewster and he could buy them for slightly more than Nook, that would be even more of an incentive to get coffee after you already have all the Brewster items. And same with Blathers, if he could buy fossils, he could buy them for more bells than Nook, exactly how Leaf can buy weeds for more than Nook and and CJ can buy fish and bugs for more than Nook. Number three, being able to relocate the rocks. Now, I understand this could be a bit confusing with the classic shovel and bell slash materials mechanic, but just imagine if after you finish grinding out all the bells and materials, you could just dig up the rock and go place it somewhere else on your island. You could make your own rock garden without having to fill your whole island with mannequins or custom designs, or you could switch over to an ax which would still just destroy the rock if you just wanted to do that instead. Number four, customizing our island map or having an option to auto generate the map. I understand there might be too many things to customize in this game. Like sometimes I honestly do feel overwhelmed with all of the decorating and customizing options. But the map and also the native fruit is something I think they could cut us some slack on. Just imagine all the time and hours it would save being able to just select your native fruit, your airport color, where the river mouth should go, where you want to place resident services. Or if they could just give us the option to move resident services like all the other buildings, that would be great too. However, I do feel like the reason why they didn't do this in the first place is maybe because resident services is such a big area. So if you did want to move it, you'd have to make sure that you have a giant area to fit the whole of resident services. And number five, I actually don't know what to choose for number five, but a few other things I feel like I haven't heard anyone else speak of is being able to use a stylus for design codes, being able to choose what villager the campsite villager replaces on your island, the fact it takes ages for an amiibo campsite villager to move in, the fact we can't order craftable items from Nook, the fact we can only order five items a day from Nook. Also, imagine if instead of receiving them in our mailbox, if it got shipped straight to our storage or if we had a dedicated mail room in our house where they would appear like the furniture in Happy Home Paradise and you could just open up the boxes and then place them in your pockets or your storage or whatever your heart desires. So that's the end of my list apart from other obvious ones too like how villagers dialogue and personalities are so robotic and flat in this game and how even sending them letters has nothing to do with friendship etc etc. But let me know if you have ever thought about these in the comments, if you agree with me in general or if you have any other things you wish we could do in New Horizons that no one else talks about. See you in the next video and make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye!